Peace, what's going on? So, you know, many times, you know, I bear with y'all a lot and I share information with you. And, you know, what's important to me is the science of research. Let me tell you something. Just because you read a book does not mean that you have researched properly. Just because somebody tells you something does not mean that is research. You understand what I'm saying? Real research is done by the person themselves. I mean, of course you use books. You cross-reference sources. You know what I'm saying? But not only that, you ask questions. You do real live interviews with people who were there. You find historical references. You understand what I'm saying? It's more than just a book. We can never, ever take anything on face value. Because when we begin to take things on face value, this is where we begin to lose. Just because something is written, just because somebody said something, just because somebody wrote something, does not mean necessarily that it is based on fact or that it is based on truth. It could be based on opinion. Many times people's opinion are taken as truths, have been looked upon and agreed and eaten as a particular truth, only to find out later that it was just an opinion based on emotions. You understand what I'm saying? So when I do research, my research is not based on just reading a book. It's not based on what somebody told me or what I heard in a build. See, I test the validity of any information. When you get some information, it has to be tested to see if it's valid. If the sources are reliable, you know what I'm saying? If it is attainable and so on and so forth, or, or has it been attained? The point of the matter is, is that research is based on the individual. People say, well, yo, what's your resources? What's your sources of research? My sources of research, I can give you all of my sources, but because of your opinion or because of the way you see things, my sources might not aid you in finding your research or finding the purpose or getting the outcome for your research. My sources might not help you. See, research is sort of like mathematics also. Addition and subtraction. You understand what I mean? And what I mean by that is sometimes you may have to add information to a source in order to take it further. Sometimes you may have to take information away from a source. You have to deduce because sometimes opinions are placed in the form of truth and people take them not realizing it's an opinion so you must be able to deduce information and you deduce by asking questions going to other people places things environments believe me research is more than just a book you understand what i'm saying it's more than just a book so when we share an information in regards to definites if i make a definite statement and say gravity is real there's, you, you, you know, gravity is everything. Gravity is real. Gravity is blah, blah, blah. Trust me and, and believe that gravity is real. It exists because I researched it and I researched it in a way that is, that, 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 that guarantees that I'm correct when I make an assessment. You understand what I'm saying? I don't just say things to say things. I just don't do that. If I make a statement, best believe there is research behind it. Best believe there are actual facts and evidences that lead me to be to this conclusion. There are things that I have deduced. There are things that I have added on through research to get me to the particular conclusions that I come to. This is my outcome. You understand what I'm saying? These, this is what I get from my research. You understand? So, for somebody to tell you something, you read a book, and you take things on face value without showing and proving what you've taken on face value, then a lot of times you're dealing with emotions. See, I tell people like this. If you want to debate with me or anything like that, I don't debate. I don't debate truth. I don't debate ignorance. Things I just don't debate. My, my job is to disseminate information. That's my job. Your job is to rebuttal anything I say that you might find you know, to be wrong or, or out of order. Research it and then make a video and rebuttal it. That's all. You know, don't come into my page telling me all of this information, giving me all of this stuff. Rebuttal it. Make a video. Just like I make videos. Rebuttal it. I don't need to read tons and tons of posts from people telling me I'm wrong or, or you out of order, brother, blah, blah, blah. If I'm out of order, prove it. For me to make the statements I make, you have to prove me out of order. The burden of proof is on you. Because trust me, I'm well versed in the science of research. Well versed. And my research takes me places. I literally go to places and do research. I just don't pick up books. Books is not enough. 
that's just a small part of the research. A book, because remember, books, if they're not written on archaeological and geographical uh, truths, a lot of times books are just people's opinions and their understanding of how they come across a topic or research a topic. You see what I'm saying? So on that note, the best thing you can do is become a researcher. Learn how to research for yourself. Stop taking things on face value. Stop taking the things that people say. Stop running with your emotion because true research is not done with emotion. You have to drop all emotion when it comes to true research because you may find things in your research that makes you upset. You may find things in your research that you can't take in regards to one of the people that you admired or so on and so forth. You might find your research to make you want to hate everything you believed in, but that's not what it's about. The research is about being proper, right and exact, and finding the right outcome and finding the right information to better suit yourself and to disseminate and remove falsehood so you can grow. Peace.